Iran, 2006. Iran advanced their nuclear capabilities at the Natanz nuclear facility. While they insist these efforts are for peaceful purposes, many in the international community fear the worst, the development of nuclear weapons. So how did malicious software called Stuxnet manage to derail Iran's development of a nuclear weapon? In the early 2000s, Iran emerged as a significant player in the Middle East with vast energy resources at its disposal. Although Iran signed the Non-Proliferation Treaty on Nuclear Weapons, reports surfaced that they increased their efforts to enrich uranium, a key ingredient in nuclear weapons, at the Natanz nuclear facility. This made many countries nervous. When negotiations to stop the experiments failed in 2006, a secret cyber warfare program to disable the Iranian nuclear threat began. Although details of the mission believed to be called Operation Olympic Games remain classified, many believe that in 2007, United States and Israeli intelligence infected Natanz with a computer worm known as Stuxnet, a malicious software that could replicate and spread to other computers over a network. The worm was likely introduced through USB drives as the facility systems were not connected to the internet. Over the years, the Stuxnet worm increased the speed of Natanz nuclear centrifuges while sending false reports back to the operators, making it appear that the system was working as normal. Because of Stuxnet, more than 200,000 Iranian computers were corrupted, and almost 20% of Natanz nuclear centrifuges were destroyed. Stuxnet had succeeded in delaying the Iranian nuclear program, but somehow the worm had escaped from Natanz's closed system, targeting different infrastructures around the world and raising questions in the intelligence and IT communities about Stuxnet's origins. Stuxnet proves that computer worms are a powerful form of covert action, causing disruption and harm in the age of cyber warfare. What are the ethical implications of using cyber warfare to disrupt an enemy nation?